Hello, hello. Hello, Luis. Hernan. Hello, teacher. How are you? Hello, Diana. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. Good evening. Welcome, everybody. How are you doing today? Very good. <laughs> Excellent. How was your day? Uh, I'm fine. All right, that's good. Did you work today? Yes. What is your profession? Uh, I profession uh, administration de empresas, ¿cómo se dice? Business administration. <laughs> Business administration. Oh, you have a business. Uh, so. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> what is what what is your business? Uh, computation, computadoras, computer. oh, computers. Computers. Uh, do you sell computers, repair computers, software? Uh, sell computer software accessories the mm -hmm. uh, todo un poco oh okay that's a that's real good that's a good business technology is a very good investment i like your earbuds yes. uh -huh. thank you how much is one pair like that uh, how much? How, how much is one pair of earbuds? Ah, one pair. Pues eran de mi hijo, se los quité. Ah, okay. Pero usted no vende de esos. Eh, como eh, valen como ciento cincuenta. 150. Ah, okay. Yes. Those are the nice ones. Uh, ¿Qué marca son? Uh, son Apple. Apple. Okay, nice. I like it. I like it. Those are nice. <coughs> they look very nice. Eh, vendemos unos, unas imitaciones que son que valen como 40 dólares. <laughs> oh, igualitos. Okay. Oh, really? Okay. Maybe we can talk. Maybe we can talk. <laughs> we can do Cuando business. <laughs> we can do business. <laughs> okay, excellent, okay. excellent. Hello, Carla Esquina. Hello, Adriana Hello, Arias. Teacher. How Hello, are teacher. you? Good evening. Good evening. Hello, How... teacher. Hello, Adriana. I'm How okay. Are you? I'm okay, teacher. And you? Very good. It's Friday y el cuerpo lo sabe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. En inglés, ¿cómo sería? Oh, el cuerpo te, lo... no, eh, no, hay, no hay una expresión así que diga el cuerpo lo sabe, pero sí hay una expresión <laughs> que celebra el viernes que es TGIF. 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 Quiere decir, thank God is Friday. TG, okay. hay un restaurante sobre el paseo escalón que se llama TGIF. Ah, es cierto. Es, quiere decir, thank God. Ah, ok. It's, o la película. Ajá, uh -huh, Friday, yeah. All right, that's the name, TGIF. Es una expresión que se usa en los viernes. Oh, TGIF. It's like similar to <laughs> es viernes y el cuerpo lo sabe. Yeah. La mejor, la mejor en español. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really. Latinos le ponemos más sabor. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, yesterday, in yesterday's class, we looked at the simple past. Do you remember this video? Do you remember this video? Yes. Okay. So in yesterday's class, 
we were so looking at questions. Past. Listen, please. We learning it. We need to learn verbs in simple past. We'll teach you how to make questions and how to answer in both affirmative and negative form. Please pay attention. Simple past. Did you work on Saturday? Yes, I did. I worked all day. No, I didn't. I didn't work at all. Did you go anywhere last weekend? Yes, I did. I went to the movies. No, I didn't. I didn't go anywhere. What did Rick do on Saturday? He stayed home and studied for a test. How did Meg spend her weekend? She went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends. Let's talk about questions in simple past. Did you realize the auxiliary we used? Did. We use auxiliary did for questions and short answers, positive and negative. Did you realize what happened to the question after we used did? See the next example. Did you go to the beach? Did he break the window? In each question, the verb is used in simple present because we use did. It is not correct to say, did you went to the beach? Did he broke the window? So remember, every time you ask a question in simple past, you need to use the auxiliary did and the main verb goes back to present. For short answers in affirmative and negative in simple past, we must use did within the answer as we saw on the chart. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. This takes us to say that we use verbs in simple past when we say affirmative sentences. Take a look at the following statements. They went to the park last weekend. I woke up late this morning. She came late to class. I suggest for you to study and learn verbs in simple past for you to express past activities and experiences. All right, at this moment, does anybody have any questions about this information? Do you have any questions referring to this information? No, teacher. Okay, now what we are going to do is we are going to continue with the next activity and we're going to look at the knowledge check. On the knowledge check instructions, complete these conversations. Questions and answers must be in the simple past. Instructions, complete, complete las siguientes conversaciones. Las preguntas y respuestas deben estar en pasado simple. So for this activity, you're going to select did goes here, the auxiliary, and stayed is the verb, and it goes here, or only the verb, or did the auxiliary and stay verb in the base form. Who can give me the correct answer? One volunteer, A, B, or C? See. Who said that? Adriana. All right. Good job, Adriana. Applause for Adriana, everybody. Thank you. Excellent. That is correct. The answer is C. Did is the auxiliary verb, and stay is the verb in the base form and it complements the verb in the simple past. So the answer is, did you stay Gracias. home on Saturday? Did you stay home on Saturday? What is the answer? Who can answer the question? Adriana, did you stay home on Saturday? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Perfect. Adriana, select somebody. Mm, Ailey, Michelle. 
Hayley Michelle, Adriana asked the question, did you stay home last Saturday? Did you last? Mm -mm, mm -mm. Did, did you stay last? Did, okay, <laughs> did don't worry. Did you stay me... home on Saturday? Okay, so here we're going to say did, here you, and here stay. Like that. Go ahead, ask the question. Did Ailey, did you stay home on Saturday? Um, no, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. Perfect. Ailey, select somebody. Ah. Uh, Ay, no logro ver a nadie. Okay. Um, Carla. Carla. Do ¿Sí? you stay home on Saturday? Yes, I do. Excellent. All right. Now, for this activity, I would like for you to work in pairs. And you are going to complete this activity. Work in pairs and complete exercise two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Any questions at this moment? No teacher. Okay, no questions? Nobody? No teacher. Okay, now please, please remember, if you don't understand, what are you going to do? If you don't understand, what are you going to do? Pregunta. Oh, <laughs> Natalie, excellent. Ask the teacher, right? Raise your hand, Mr. Santos, I don't understand. Michael King, please help me, whatever. Do you understand? Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. yes. All right. Ready? Let's go. Please enter. Carla, hello, Carla. Hola. Hola, vamos a completar la actividad. No sé si ya la tiene completa. Sí, pero este, no estoy adentro ahorita de la plataforma. Voy a entrar. De, de la plataforma. Ajá. Sí, voy a entrar a ahorita. Vaya, yo también voy a intentar entrar. La dos punto que es uh, to a coffee for lunch. Sí, exacto. Okay, entonces eh, más o menos sería de que, que no que yo no 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 le llamaría a mi amigo. A, a su amigo. Nosotros, nosotros manejamos por un café o por lunch, algo así. Sí. <ríe> ok. Sigamos con el tercero. Number three. Sí. 
How you spend your life's birthday? Sería how you spend your last birthday. Entonces sería how did you spend your last birthday? Exacto. ¿Cómo sería en español? Quiero ver. Spain, me acuerdo que es Spain. Sí, quiero ver. Ah, ok. El gastar, dice. Vamos a ver. Aquí sería cuánto, cuánto, cuánto gastarías tú la fiesta, ¿verdad? en tu último, tu, en tu último cumpleaños, cuánto gastaste? Mm -hmm. How did you spend your life's birthday? No, en lo que lo encuentro. Bye. En okay, la no, segunda, no. Bye. Uh -huh. en la segunda dice no hay está el verbo en paréntesis call my uh -huh. friend we entre paréntesis está el drive to a coffee for lunch. La uh -huh. respuesta es no I didn't call my friend. We drove to a coffee for lunch. Sería la primera. Entonces. Sí, la primera. Uh -huh. La primera opción, ajá. Muy bien. La tercera. Hoy sí ya pudo, ya está ahí. Sí, aquí no. sí, ya, ya estoy. Sí, 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 en la tercera sería la tercera opción. Sí. Did spend. Did spend. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ajá, en la cuarta. Yeah. En la segunda. La segunda, ajá, la segunda. Have enjoy didn't like the noise. Sí. Ajá. En, la, en la cinco, la primera. La primera, exacto. Uh -huh. Y la seis es la tercera, ¿verdad? La tercera, la tercera, ajá, ¿eh? went and low. La siete, la segunda. La segunda, muy bien. Y la ocho. Y la ocho, la primera. Sí, la primera. La, la primera, ajá. ¿eh? It la went nueve, spent. La nueve es la segunda, ¿verdad? La segunda, la segunda, sí. Y, y la por última. último, la primera. La primera. Sí, la primera, ajá. La primera, sí. ¿Tienes alguna todo? duda con respecto a eso? Sí. ¿Alguna duda? Pues no. Está claro. Gracias, Gracias a Dios, ¿no? Sí. <risa> <risa> sí, está claro, voy a entender. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ay, solo esperar que nos llamen. Sí, sí, sí. Solo era eso. O practicamos la pronunciación. Ajá, Vamos podríamos una. verlas. Ajá. Sí. Me empiezo, ¿Empiezo yo? Sí, sí, sí. Sería... Empiezo. Did you stay home on Saturday? La segunda de usted. Sí. O la digo toda yo primero y después okay, todo. O puede ser también, ajá. Bueno, entonces sigo. Sería la segunda. Sí. No, I didn't call draw. No, I didn't call my friend. We drove to a coffee for lunch. How... 
how did you spend your last birthday? Yes. I had a party. Everyone enjoyed it. Enjoyed it. But neighborhood didn't like the noise. Last income. Yes. What did you do last night? I... All right, all right. Welcome back. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Are you ready? Yes. Yes. All right. Let me have one. Uh, Luis, le voy a pedir que mantenga su micrófono en silencio, Luis, por favor, porque se escucha bastante interferencia, como que hay una tele encendida por allí, hay bastante eco y se nos escucha a todos. Gracias. Uh, let me have one volunteer uh, to do number two. Me, teacher. All right. Nubia, number two, please. Uh, sería, no, I didn't call my friend. We drove to a, to a cave for lunch. Cafe. Caf ¿Cómo se dice? Cafe. Café. Café. Teacher, what's the meaning café? Um, a café for lunch is like a, a cafeteria. Uh, ah. For example, un comedor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A café. Thank you. Mm -hmm. It's short for cafeteria. Um, one of my favorites cafeterias in the United States is Luby's Cafeteria. I used to love this restaurant. Luby's, oops, Luby's Cafeteria. Mm. This, oh look, only in Houston, oh my God. <laughs> I didn't know this cafeteria exists only in Houston. I lived in Houston for 16 years. Look, delicious food. It's like Comida La Vista. It's like Mr. Donuts, but hmm, another level. Luby's. Okay, another the, another volunteer for number three. Me, teacher. Okay, Adriana, number three. Um, how did you spend your last birthday? Excellent. How did you spend your last birthday? Perfect. Number four, another volunteer. Me, teacher. Okay, let me see who is, who is me? Dina. Dina. Dina, number four. I have a party. Uh, everyone enjoys, but the neighbors, but the neighbors uh, didn't like the noise. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. I had a party. A party. Everyone enjoyed. Enjoyed. But the neighbors didn't like the noise. Excellent. Let me have another volunteer for number five. Me, teacher. Okay, so we're gonna have Carla, number five, Fabiola, number six. Okay, uh, what did you do last night? Excellent. What did you do last night is perfect. Thank you, Carla. Fabiola, number six. And I went to the new Jim Carrey film. Uh, I love it. Very good. I loved, loved, d, d. Al final se tiene que escuchar esa D. I loved, I loved it. The. Right? Love is voiced or unvoiced? 
voiced. Voiced. That's voiced. right. Voiced. Okay. Number seven. Another volunteer. Number seven. Me, teacher. Okay. Uh, we're uh, we're gonna let everybody participate. Uh, Diana Lisette, number seven, please. Diana Lisette. Did you do an eating special over the weekend? Excellent. Did you do anything special over the weekend? Nubia, number eight. <clears throat> yes, I did. Yes, I did. I went shopping. Yes, repeat after me. Everybody, repeat after me. Yes. Unfortunately. 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 Correct. Uh, unfortunately, uh, I spent I spent all my money. Now I am broke. 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 Everybody repeat money. Money. Right. Money. Money. Ma money. 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 Excellent. Oh, money. Number money. nine, Susie. Did you sing at the party? Did you sing at the party? Is correct. Thank you, Susie. Okay. Number 10, Luis. No, I didn't. I was sick. No, I didn't. No, I no, I didn't. I was sick. Oh, sorry. Excellent. Awesome. Thank you. Awesome. All right. At this moment, does anybody have any questions about this information? Somebody, one body, two body, anybody? Yes, the, the number, the number seven, the significado en esta oración de over, over the weekend. Ah, uh, good, good question. This is a very good question. This is an informal way to say on the weekend. The formal way is on the weekend. Over the weekend is a very informal way. For example, uh, I can ask you, did you do anything special? over the vacation. For example, did you do anything special over the vacation? Do you understand? Yes. Yes. All right. ¿Qué hiciste? ¿Hiciste algo especial en la vacación? ¿Hiciste algo especial el fin de semana? That would be the translation. Another thank you, teacher. Yes, of course. Another question referring to this activity. Me preocupa que no pregunten. Nobody? No tenga pena. Nobody. Um, teacher. Mm -hmm. Um, um, the question, um, number six, six, uh huh, six, mm -hmm. um, no, 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 sorry, mm -hmm. number, um, Mm 
seven, 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 seven. Um, uh -huh. and the, oh, es, um, lo acabo de mencionar, pero no me quedó claro. Anything special over, over the weekend. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok, so es lo mismo como que si dice on the weekend. No, pero over. Esa es una expresión informal. Ah, ok. Ajá, tiene... Eso es lo que no, no, me, no, no concordaba yo. Ajá. Sí, o sea, es lo mismo que tú digas, hiciste algo especial el fin de semana. Ah, ok. Pero de una forma informal. Es como más hablado. Eh, bien robótica sería on the weekend. Right. Eso sería una on forma bien. Uh -huh. Ajá. Esa sería la forma más, más formal, más escrita. Pero los americanos no te, no te hablan así. Ellos no te dicen, okay. did you do anything special on the weekend? Right. Solo eh, la mayoría de ellos dicen over the weekend. Ah, ok. Para entender bien. Uh -huh. Ajá. O, o también se puede decir, por ejemplo, en, en la vacación. Over the vacation. Over the vacation. Ajá. Quiere decir lo mismo, en la vacación. O puedes decir on the vacation. La manera formal sería on the vacation. Y la, la manera más, más, más natural para, para los americanos es over the vacation. O, okay. o también puedes decir um, otra que dicen over the summer. O por ejemplo, ahorita en los Estados Unidos, para nosotros fue Semana Santa. Ellos le llaman spring break. So, sería over the, over the spring break. Ellos no le dicen Semana Santa o... Eh, sí existe Easter, pero Easter solamente es para la gente religiosa. Para todo el otro mundo se le, le dicen spring break. Que para los no religiosos. Para los no religiosos, ellos le llaman spring break, que básicamente es un break del verano. Uh -huh. Y puedes también decir on the spring break, que es más formal, pero el significado es el mismo. En la vacación, en el fin de semana, en el, la Semana Santa. Uh -huh. Ok. Another okay. question? Got it? Ok. All right. Excellent. Excellent. Now, what we are going to do um, at this moment, do you guys have any questions uh, referring to this topic? Hi. Como se traduce, o sea, literalmente, I am Brock, se traduciría como estoy destrozada, rota. No, 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 no. ¿Cómo sería la traducción? No, no, no. En este caso, se refiere a dinero. Si alguien te dice. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Así como ahorita todo el mundo de la, después de la vacación, everybody's broke. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, el contexto, vamos a ver dónde está. ¿Dónde la está? Ocho, ese día. Ocho, ocho. La 8 sería 8. La 8. Ok. Dice. Eh, ah, ok, por eso dice que fue shopping, fue de compras. De compras. Dice, yes. I did. I went shopping. Fui de compras. Unfortunately, desafortunadamente, I spent all my money. Gasté todo mi yes. dinero. Now I am broke. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Pero en el sentido de emocionalmente, tú también puedes decir, él me quebró el corazón. He... Mm -hmm. Broke my heart. O de, uh -huh. puedes decir, nosotros rompimos. We broke up. Uh -huh. Ok. So broke tiene varios significados. O por ejemplo, tú le dices al técnico, mira, esta computadora no sirve. Hey, 
this computer, computer. is broken. Right, quiere decir que no funciona. Y también literalmente lo del quebrado, que por ejemplo tú dices la ventana está quebrada. <laughs> the mm -hmm. window, uh -huh, the window is broken. Este es el más literal. Okay. So, se puede utilizar para expresar muchas cosas. I'm broke. Quiere decir, estoy lavado, acabado. He broke my heart. Okay. Oh, él me quebró el corazón. We broke up. Right. Paramos la relación. Hey, this computer is broken. Eh, que no funciona la compu. Hey, la ventana está quebrada. The window is broken. Right. So depending on the context, you can use it in a different way. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Yeah. Y yo, teacher, ¿y ah. otra forma de decir que la computadora no funciona? Uh, it doesn't work. The oh. computer doesn't work. The computer? The computer doesn't work. Oh. The computer doesn't work. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the computer is broken. Es lo mismo. Okay. The computer, computer is broken. The same meaning. The same meaning. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank okay. you. Okay. Thank you. Now we're going to move forward and we're going to look at the next activity. Are you ready? Awesome. In this session, participants will listen to a conversation using the simple past. Pay attention for details and pronunciation. En esta sesión, los participantes escucharán una conversación en pasado simple. Ponga atención a detalles y pronunciación. What did you do last night? Listening exercise. Instructions. Listen to John and Laura. Describe what they did last night. Check the correct information about each person. Instrucciones. Escuche a John y Laura describir lo que hicieron anoche. Marque la información correcta sobre cada persona. Listen, please. What did you do last night? Part A. Todos escuchan. To John and Laura describe what they did last yes. night. Yes. Okay. Yes. Information about okay. each person. So, what did you do last night, John? Uh, I went to my boss's house for dinner. Really? How was it? Oh, the food was okay, but the people weren't very interesting. They talked about football all night, and I hate football. Then, we watched some boring sports videos. I didn't get home until after midnight. Well, that doesn't sound like much fun. I had a great time last night. I went to a party and met an old school friend of mine. We haven't seen each other for years, so we had lots to talk about. We stayed at the party all night. Hmm, it sounds like you had a much better time than I did. Yeah, I guess you're right. Everybody uh, got it or do you want me to repeat? Repeat, please. Okay. Listening. What did you do last night? Part A. Listen to John and Laura describe what they did last night. Check the correct information about each person. So, what did you do last night, John? Uh, I went to my boss's house for dinner. Really? How was it? Oh, the food was okay, but the people weren't very interesting. They talked about football all night, and I hate football. Then... We watched some boring sports videos. I didn't get home until after midnight. Well, that doesn't sound like much fun. I had a great time last night. I went to a party and met an old school friend of mine. 
We haven't seen each other for years, so we had lots to talk about. We stayed at the party all night. Hmm, it sounds like you had a much better time than I did. Yeah, I guess you're right. Okay, at this moment, do you have any questions related to this information? Do you have any questions related to this information? No, teacher. Excellent. No. Now you are going to work in pairs and complete the activity. You are going to work in pairs and complete the activity. Do you understand? Yes. 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 Okay. What are you going to do if you have a question? Ask the teacher. Hey. Let's go in to ask you. That's ask right. You. You're going to say, Michael King, Michael King, I need your help and I'm going to help you. Ready? Let's go. Yes, teacher. Let's do it. Cecilia, what are you doing, Cecilia? Cecilia, what are you doing? Hello, Cecilia. Cecilia. Who had a good time? Laura. Sí. And who met good men a uh, old friend? Laura. Sí. Y who got home, home late? John. No. Laura. No. <laughs> no sé. Era es both. Both. Ah, no escuché que había otro. Uh -huh. Es eh, los dos. Los dos llegaron tarde a la casa. Ah. Uh -huh. ¿Vos qué es? Es ambos. Ah. Uh -huh. No sabía eso. Uh, oh, yeah. Entonces, ajá. Sí, me salía bien todo. Uh -huh. Pero pasemos entonces. Bye. Um, ahora usted dígales. A ver. Who had a boring time? Um, es John. Y le digo la respuesta. Sí. Es John. Who had a good time? Um, Laura. Yes. Who mm. met an old friend? Um, Laura. ¿Verdad que aquí sería quién se reunió, verdad? Sí, quién se reunió. Ajá. Uh -huh. Con los viejos. Ajá. Porque okay, también ese es como conocer, ¿verdad? Who uh -huh. meet. Meet es como conocer. Who got home late. Y sí, uh -huh. Ok. Eso estaba más fácil. Sí, está bien. A ver. ¿Cuánto tiempo nos dio? No sé. Ah, luego viene una conversación. Pero solo así vamos a hacer, ¿verdad? Sí, solo eso. Yo sí le entendí que solo es. Ahí. Sí, bueno. uh -huh. Entonces. Sí, esperamos. O esperamos. Esperamos.
Fabiola, una duda. No sé si usted escuchó. Dígame. ¿Cómo, cómo era que se decía el... ¿Era café o café for lunch? ¿Qué? Que es por lunch, ajá, algo así le escuché. Que fe. Que fe, que fe, ajá, que fe por lunch. Por lunch. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Let me have the first volunteer. Who had a boring time? Volunteer. Me, teacher. Okay, Diana. Dina. Diana. Dina. Okay. Who, who had a boring time? John. Excellent. Thank you. Number two, Cecilia. And who had a good time is Laura. Perfect. Luis, number three. Uh, who met an old friend uh, is Laura. Laura. Excellent. Adriana, number four. Who got home late, but. Perfect. Excellent, correct. 
applause for everybody. <laughs> Good job. Good any job. any questions uh, about this information? Do you guys have any questions related to the vocabulary or the expressions or something like that? Uh, no, teacher. teacher. Okay. No, teacher. Let's move forward. And we're going to be looking at 2.7. Participants will have a chance to listen to a conversation where past of be is used. Participantes escucharán una conversación donde el pasado del verbo be se pone en práctica. Everybody listen, please. Hawaii 50. Participants will have a chance to listen to a conversation with past of B if you... Hi to all. Welcome to this session. We'll continue talking about simple past, but now I want you to find out the simple past of B. Listen to the conversation and figure it out. Don't miss next class where I'll explain the past of B. Let's listen. Hi, Don. How was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. Lucky you. How long were you there? About a week. Fantastic. Was the weather okay? Not really. It was cloudy most of the time. But we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. So what was the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. You won't believe it. Surfing <sighs> every day. Everybody listen and repeat. Hi, Don. Hi, Hi Don. Don. How was your vacation? How, How was, was, your was your vacation? vacation? It was excellent. It was excellent. It was excellent. It was excellent. I went to Hawaii. I, I went, went, to went to Hawaii. To Hawaii. Guys, there's a there's like a fan right there. I went to Hawaii <clears throat> with my cousin. With my cousin. We had a great time. We, we had, had a great, great, time. great, great time. time. Lucky you. Lucky, Lucky you. you. How long were you there? How, How long, long were you there? there? Were you there? About a week. 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 Fantastic. 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 Was the weather okay? Was the weather okay? Okay. Not really. Not really. Not really. It was cloudy most of the time. It was cloudy most of the time. But we went surfing every day. But, but we, we went surfing went every, every, day. every day. The waves were amazing. The waves were amazing. Were amazing. So what was the best thing about the trip? So what so was, was the best thing about, best about the trip? The about the trip. Well, Something incredible happened. Well, you won't believe it. You won't believe it. Okay. Now, let me have one volunteer. One volunteer. Who? Me, me teacher. Nubia. Nubia. Okay. All right, Nubia, you are going to be uh, Celia and Michael is going to be Don. Okay. Hi, Don. How was your vacation? 
It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. Look at you. Uh, how long were you there? About a week. Fantastic. Was the weather okay? Not really. It was cloudy most of the time, but we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. So what was the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. You won't believe it. All right, now vice versa. You are Don, I am Celia. Hi, Don. How was your vacation? It was excellent. 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 I went to Hawaii. Excellent. Ex como el ex excellent. 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 It excellent. was excellent. I went excellent. to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. Lucky you. How long were you there? About a week. Fantastic. Was the weather okay? Not really. It was cloudy most of the time, but we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. 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 So, what was the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. You won't believe it. You won't believe it. Excellent. You won't believe it. Everybody, applause, please. Applause for Nubia. Good job, Nubia. Okay, guys, you. you're welcome. At this moment, um, does anybody have any questions related to this vocabulary, pronunciation? Any questions? ¿Cómo se traduciría? You won't believe it. No lo vas a creer. You know how you have friends that they say, de vera, de vera, <laughs> right? Is it really, really? It's the same, right? Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's practice in pairs. Lo va a practicar cinco veces con su pareja. Cinco okay. veces. Okay. Virse versa, cambiando de roles. Hola Adri, eh, vaya, voy a ser Celia. Vaya. Hi Don, bueno, hi Adri. How was your vacation? Ahorita, ahorita, ahorita. ahorita. <ríe> okay. Le vamos a cambiar los, los nombres. Eh, ¿Cómo vos querrás? Ah, vaya, empieza entonces. Ok. Hi Adri, how was your vacation? It was. Excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. Lucky you. How long were you there? About a week. Fantastic. Was the weather okay? Not really. It was cloudy most of the time, but we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. So, what was the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. You won't believe it. Okay. Ahora intercambiamos. Bye. Hi, Cecilia. How was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. Lucky you. How long were you there? About a week. Fantastic. Was the weather okay? Not really. It was cloudy most of the time, 
but we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. So what was the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. You won't believe it. Hi, Adri. How was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. Lucky you. How long were you there? About a week. Fantastic. Was the weather okay? Not really. It was glory most of the time. But we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. So, what was the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. You won't believe it. Hi, Ceci. How was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. Lucky you. How long were you there? About a week. Fantastic. Was the weather okay? Not really. It was cloudy most of the time, but we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. So what was the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. You won't believe it. Van tres, ¿verdad? Sí. Okay. Hi, Adri. How was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. Lucky, lucky you. How long were you there? About a week. Fantastic. Was the weather okay? Not really. It was cloudy most of the time. But we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. So what was the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happening. You won't believe it. Hi, Ceci. How was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. Teacher. Hi. And what is the pronunciation incredible? Incredible. 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 All right, guys. I gotta go. I got another class. See you Monday. See you Monday. Bye. 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 Happy weekend. Bye. Thank you. You too. Enjoy your weekend. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night.